Rob doesn't know yet. Let's go and tell him. Let's have another look. Yep, that's where the car is. This gorgeous lady. This side's dried up and that side's dammed up. This natural spring perpetually fills this waterhole no matter how much we take out. How awesome is that? Right we side. have started a dam. We just got to build it up from here, across this rock, across this to this side, up to that height and we'll have a massive dam. <laughs> You'll be underwater babe. Sheep are happy, dogs are happy, everyone's happy. If you enjoy watching our animals, you will absolutely love our children's books based on our favourite animals on the farm. Just scan this QR code with your phone and you will find the books right here. The physical paperback books now come with free learning sheets and a bonus read-along video. What better way to help children to learn how to read? You are a magnificent sheep, aren't you Maggie? Oh, a feed bag. Yum, yum. Hey, where did everybody go? I wonder what this is, said Maggie. Maggie. It's paint. Look at Maggie's nose. Do you wonder what that is, Maggie? <laughs> Maggie is a magnificent sheep. Maggie lives a life she loves. Just come up. Oh wow, look at that. It's like seaweed, isn't it? The surface is rising. Here's our marker. We're growing even in two hours, an inch over. What do you think the surface area is? The surface area is five cubic meters. Every hundred mil is five cubic meters. Wow, that's a lot in two hours. Yeah. Amazing. The old dam wall. Right, I'm gonna get us some lunch. So, I tried to outrun the sheep around the corner and I put the car down the hill. Rob doesn't know yet. Let's go and tell him. Let's have another look. Yep, that's where the car is. Let's go tell Bob. Yeah, I was trying to get past the sheep because they're going to be in my way and didn't want to run them over. And so I went really quick around the corner. And I thought, no, I'll be fine, I'll be fine. Ah, uh, no, I'm not fine. I'm over the edge. A little bit scary. But you really shit yourself. I did shit myself for a couple of seconds. I thought, am I going to roll? Am I going to roll? And then I didn't roll, I slid. But the only thing I'm really worried about is that trailer going into the tyre. The only other thing is just getting it out. It's a good job on plastic bloke, isn't it? Really? Because there's some blokes that wouldn't even consider how you're feeling. Well, the first thing I asked was, how are you? Don't care about the car, as long as you're okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. We can sort that out. I'm a bit shaken. It was a fun ride, but it was a scary ride. Let's have a look at what damage was done to this tyre then. I don't want to. It's right on the rim. It's not even damaging the tyre. It's just jackknifed. I jackknifed the car down an embankment <laughs> <laughs> to outrun the sheep. So I'm going to get the tractor. You know what? What? I was, I was driving back and I was like, see the car. I can't, I can't see the car. Where is she? Yeah, She's like, completely disappeared. She's gone off the horizon. Jack knifed off a cliff. Avoiding the sheep. They're quite calm. And totally down the bank. The tractor's coming. Back up. Back up, Betty. Okay, got it, got it. Stay there, darling. Can't come in this paddock. Let's go recover this car. Come on, sheep. Day's not over. Come on, Jet. Come on. Comes Miss Massey. He's just shaking his head. Backing up. I think he's going to pull it out. Pull her out backwards. Makes sense. Here comes Miss Massey. 
pull the Amarok out. Hmm, how's this going to work? So I've just got to work out how I'm going to get this trailer and Amarok separated. So I'm going to look at how it's connected and then I'm going to probably attach the chain and see if I can pull the trailer up and straighten the Amarok. How the hell am I going to do this? Tilly's checking out the damage. What's the damage, Tilly? <laughs> What's the consensus, people? Here goes, attempt number one. What I'm doing here, I'm trying to straighten the Amarok up so I can either pull it up with the tractor and trailer it all in one, or I'm going to detach the trailer and see if we can get the Amarok up separately. Sheep are totally nonchalant. Alright, let's look from this angle, up here. Tension on the trailer. You can see the angle, surely. So it's going to try and unhook it, pull the trailer up. This is sketchy. I'm going to get in the tub just in case this trailer wants to rip my leg off. the sheep. Oh my god. Maggie, get out of the way. Maggie, move. Trailers up. This is where you come in. So I'm going to 
attached the car to the tractor and try and reverse up. You all get on the tractor, the first gear low ratio, just go forward. No matter what happens, keep going. How do I get in the car? You'll get in the car then. Okay. Reverse up. You won't get it up the hill. No, but to the tractor. Hey? Why do you need me to be on the tractor? Because I don't want you in the U if it fails. I'd rather be in the U. Because you know how to control the tractor better. It looks like I know how to control you better too. Don't need to be like that. I'm sorry, baby. I was trying to be humorous. Well, I'll give it a go first, see if I can get it up. Looks like I know how to control you better too. Oopsie! There's some trees there. Oh dear. It may come across that we don't care about our vehicles, but we really do. And those trees uh, were completely hidden from view when I was coming up. <laughs> You're right now. Bring it around. That's the way. All right, bike to eat and back to digging a dam. Really hard. It's really hard. <laughs> it's like cement. When you get down into this place, it's really nice and powdery. Which is good because you'll really infill in all the little mm. cracks and crevices. If you enjoyed today's shenanigans, make sure you subscribe because it really helps us out. And if you have subscribed, make sure you hit the notification bell so you know when our next video is ready to watch.